Hey guys, today I'm going to be giving you some tips to help you learn the fly to backstroke transition turn. This might seem like an easy turn, but there are some important things to focus on to help make it faster and to not get disqualified. A common mistake is coming into the wall too short, which not only creates a giant wall of water, but it's also a sudden slowdown to your momentum to make an efficient turn. Instead, practice the timing of your strokes about 6 to 8 meters away from the wall so you can finish with a full stroke and kick. The turn itself is very similar to any other open turn using the elbow your brother, call your mother technique, except this time you want to be on your back underwater before pushing off. A common mistake people make with this turn is throwing their arms back, almost like a backstroke start. But this will make it harder to get underwater fast enough for an efficient push off. If you still need to work on your open turn technique, there's a link in the description box below to my video explaining this turn in more detail. Another common mistake is the diving glide turn. Many people do this turn when they start to get tired. It's not just a slower turn, but you can also get disqualified. This happens when your entire body is completely submerged under the water as you reach for the wall. I've seen several people get DQ'd for this, so if you're long on a turn by accident, try not to fully submerge yourself and instead try to keep either your head, feet, or hands out of the water. As I mentioned before, the best and quickest turn is timing out your strokes so you finish with a reaching pull and strong kick at the surface. Let me know in the comments below if these tips help you with your transition turn. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to see more. Bye!